Hi everyone. So today our tutorial is an angel wing fold. It's a very simple fold to do, but looks superb when you've finished it. So here is one sample. Okay. Here's another sample just on plain white card. This one is on a cream, um, adorable, scorable card. And this one is on basic white card, but I've added panels of a pretty paper. So this one has no actual pictures on it. The beauty of the card is from the background paper and a very simple message in the middle. So let's try and leave those just in sight there. Okay, as usual, I will put um, imperial measurements up in the top left corner. So let's have a look what we need. We first need a piece of card that is A4 by 15 centimeters. Okay, so very simple. Two pieces of um, origami paper and that happens to be 15 centimeters too so we'll need both of those i've got a couple of um, 10 centimeter squares of color and i've got myself some um, silver to make a mat for our base card i try and do this um, without any die cutters or anything these I have used um, a die to make the outside mat, but I do like to show that you can do this purely with your scissors and items you've got at home. So let's bring in our scoreboard. And the first thing we're going to do is score at seven and 10. Very simple. Turn round and we're going to score at seven and 10. Now you can go ahead and fold if you want to at this point, but I'm gonna leave them flat because of doing these panels. <clears throat> now, this was 15 centimeters. So I want to cut it down to 14 and a half. So I'm just taking off half a centimeter. I'm going to try and do both together. Just a smidgen off there. Right. Our first um, score line was seven. So we're going to go for six and a half. six and a half and we want six and a half again so that will be my two side panels now this center panel is nine and a half centimeters so we're going to cut the next piece at nine so we're just taking off half a centimeter There we go. I'm not going to mat and layer this. I'm just going to place pretty papers on there. So again, you can use any glue that you want. So there's our first one and it gives us a tiny little border of white all the way round. This is a beautiful fold and so easy to do with whatever you have to hand. A little bit that's... Oops. Yep. Right now, the centerpiece. Now 
make sure the birds are flying up the right way. In it goes. So we have a small white border all the way round. Now we're going to put that aside um, to dry. <coughs> now we're going to have a look at this. I have cut these 10 centimetres square. Right. If I'm using fancy scissors, I like to leave myself my tape. I like to leave myself enough around the edge for the fancy scissors to hold on to. Otherwise, you get torn bits at the edges. Okay, so we're going to prepare these. You need two of these. So right in the middle. And we're going to prepare this one. One of these will be the middle panel of your card. The other one will be the angel wings at the sides. So again, in the middle, and I'm going to take my fancy scissors. Um, let's go for. I'm going to go for this one, which is uh, Victorian, and I'm going to go round, and I'm placing the edge of my scissors against the edge much of the scissors center and that way when we look at it i just get this tiny border do practice with the pair of scissors that you've got um and put all your other one other fancy scissors away just go for one pair and really practice using those. So one of the things that you need to remember with doing this is that this centerpiece will be going on as a diamond. So do make sure any decoration you put on there is able to be viewed as a diamond. So we're going to prepare the next the next one. Oops. And the last edge. Get rid of the rubbish. So now this should be dry enough for us to fold. So the first one is folding towards you, away from you. And this folds towards you and then away from you and then i'm going to take my bone folder and burnish on the back those two turn it over and then burnish on the front so you've got nice crisp folds okay now we're going to take this one here and we're going to place it in the middle. If you need to measure across here, then do so. And always remember, don't go right to the points. Because that will not need glue on it. So place that on. And there is the center. Now the magic bit now comes with this one. We want to cut the angel wings from tip to tip. 
So paste that in. I line it up on my trimmer, lift it up, and I'm going from top to bottom. And there's my two angel wings. Okay. Glue onto these. Now, again, this is the bit that will hang over a bit, so don't go as far as that. So start a little way back. And then I take this and I slide it in as far as it will go so that it matches this center one. It hangs over a slight amount there. Take this one, slide it in and match this so it's all beautifully balanced. Now, there is the basis of any um, angel wing card. And you don't have to cover all the background if you don't want to. It depends what decoration you have to go on it. Now, I have the Japanese lady to go with the origami paper. And we're going to stick her in the center. And I'm just going to use this other little lady and I'm just going to balance the card by putting her just to the side. I think she looks better on this side. There we go. So there is our angel wing card and they really are easy to make, but make a beautiful card to send to anybody. So let's have a quick recap. There is my Japanese one, which we did. This one, no pictures at all, just using the backing paper as part of the design. This one, bits of odd decoupage, and I had some rainbow paper to go on the back. And this one here, again, using some backing papers and a little bit of decoupage. Okay, so do have a go, have fun, and God bless you all.